Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is, of course, you've been styled. Of course, you've been styled. And today we will be doing six feet and braids. I'll show you my techniques of how I achieve this look. So please keep watching. <music> So first I section my hair out, of course, and if you'd like to know how I section and prepare my hair, please feel free to check out my last video, which will be in the description box below. The product we'll be using is some Shine and Jam, and the reason I like the Shine and Jam is because it's not too thick and it's not really expensive. It's $8.99. It's not a gel, it's a jam, but I'll only use this on the ends of the hair. At the root of the hair, I'll be using edge control. If you can't afford the expensive stuff, you can use the even edge control. It's 48 hour hold, and it is really, really good. Now my favorite edge control is the Hicks edges, which I'll be using the most. It's between the Shine and Jam and that previous edge control I showed you, so it's not too thick and not too thin, but you can choose which one you prefer to use. And of course, we have to have some oil sheen. I prefer the Care Care oil sheen, but you can use the oil sheen of your choice. Some hairspray. I'm gonna use some Pump It Up Spritz just because I didn't have any other hairspray laying around the house, but I normally would use a Suave. And I also use some mousse or some foam. You can use some of your choosing. It doesn't have to be thick. It doesn't have to be any special kind. As you see, this is a wet foam instead of it being really, really thick. And of course, you need some wrap strips, a do-rag. Of course, if you're going to put strings on it, you will need some combs and a crochet needle. And I'm going to tell you why I use these combs. Now, I use a rat tail comb with a metal tooth on the end, simply for, for parting. I don't even use the black part. So I use this to clean up my parts, and I break my tooth just to give me a, I guess, a finer edge on the comb. But you can buy the comb already broken or already with that point. And of course, you want to start off with the hair freshly washed, blown out. It doesn't have to be flat iron, but blow dry it out. Make sure that it is easy to comb through. And we're just going to put a part down the middle for six sprays and put a rubber band around this side to make sure that both sides are even and all six sprays can be the same size. And when I'm parting my braid section, I'm going to start at the end of the eyebrow and then just go to the back of the neck. And I do that to, this, um, to both sides just to make sure that they all are the same size. And this is my first braid that you see me parting here. So once I finish getting the part to my liking, I'm just going to secure it with the rubber band. Um, you'll see that I'm going to do that in a second. I've done it with the first and I'm going to do it with the second. I'll do it with the third and just repeat that on the other side. And then I'll grab my edge control and I'm going to loosen the band up and apply some edge control to the very root of the braid just to lay it down as smooth as possible. And again, this Hicks is so amazing. Apply it to both sides of the part so you can ensure that both braids are going to be slick and that no hair is straying. And I'm just gonna lay the edges down a little bit as I go. You'll see me style them at the end of the video. And don't be afraid to use the product. Now I'm going to take some of the shining jam and put it on the back of my hand just so I can apply it to the ends of the hair as I braid. And now we're going to go ahead and start braiding. I'm going to part out a small piece at the very beginning of the braid. A very small piece. This is your anchor piece that you're going to use. And you're going to comb this piece out and you're going to split it into three pieces as if you're doing a single braid. So one, two, and three pieces. See? And then you're gonna braid that piece in place six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And once you've braided that piece six times, you're gonna take your very first piece, which is the smallest piece, and you're gonna place it in front of your middle finger and hold it with your ring finger, that center piece. Then take your first arm and tuck it underneath your pointer finger and get rid of the left arm for one second and braid two times. One, two. Now I'm going to take the second arm, twirl it a little and tuck it tightly under my pointer finger and braid two times again. And two. I'm just going to repeat this. Grab your piece, add it in the front, in front of your middle finger, hold it with your ring finger, tuck, braid twice. One, two, and then you're gonna grab the loose piece, tuck it under the pointer finger, 
braid twice. One, and sometimes you have to detangle as you go just so that you're not pulling the client's hair, and two. And just repeat this step until you feel comfortable. It is okay to practice. Place this piece of hair again in the front, hold it with that ring finger, tuck it. Continue to hold the extra piece until you braid once, you can let it go. Then braid twice, grab the extra piece, tuck it under the pointer finger, detangle the hair, braid one, Just getting some hairs out of the way there. And two. And continue this process. I'm going to let you guys see me finish this braid just so that you can get the hang of it. Because I know some people learn from repetition. But just keep watching. You'll eventually get it. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave me a comment. Or you can message me on Instagram at of course Chef and Style. I do one-on-one -on -one lessons. So if you're more of a hands-on type of person, we can definitely set up a class for you. But again, you're taking that piece, you're putting it in front of that red middle finger, holding it with the ring finger, tucking that first leg, braiding two times, guys. One, two. Now the other piece that is loose, you're gonna twirl it and tuck it really good underneath the pointer finger. Now by this point of the braid, the hair is starting to get a little bit thicker, so you gotta make sure your grip is very, very, very secure. I'm sure your client will understand because they do not want loose braids. Again, place in the front, hold it, tuck it, braid twice. One, and another, two. Grab your extra leg, tuck it, braid once, and then braid two. It is okay if the hair gets tangled, you know, braiding hair does get tangled a bit, but as long as you're detangling it as you go, you should be good. Now here you see I'm adding in some color just because I wanted to give the carpet or mixed effect at the end. Um, it is up to you whether you want to tuck that color. Um, I didn't have enough of the red braiding hair to tuck it completely around the black. Um, so we just kind of did the carpet look and made it do what it do. But I'm just going to braid down all the way until I get to the end. And I'm going to add some shine and jam at this point to the ends of the hair to make sure that all of her natural hair is laying down. Put it in, braid once, braid twice, grab that other piece, and tuck it under. And sometimes if it is difficult for you to hold that last piece with your ring finger, just throw it over to the other side of your arm. Whichever feels comfortable for you, you have to find your own move, kind of. You gotta find your own technique. This is my technique and I'm just showing it to you and this is what works for me. So when I get to the bottom, um, eventually you'll see me flip to an underhanded braid, just so I can ensure to tuck all of her natural hair throughout the weaved hair. Did you see how neat that braid is, guys? She does have some thinning on her sides, so of course it looks a little thin towards the front of each of the braids, but we want it to look as natural as possible so we didn't add um, a lot of hair at the front because we didn't want the balls. So we braid down just a couple more times, and then I'm gonna go to an under braid. And I'm gonna braid this braid all the way to the very end. And now that I finished braiding that braid down, I'm gonna take some of this Hicks edge control and just apply it to the edges a little bit and give her a little swivel or a little swoop just to add some design and style to the braid, especially since she is a little thin on the sides. Now she does have thick sideburns. I'm just gonna comb those baby hairs out for the second braid and we are going to begin the second braid the same way we started the first braid. Part out that little piece. Then you're gonna split it into three sections. And then braid six times, three, four, five, and six. And now you just add the hair on top. Tuck, braid one, two, tuck, braid one, two. This is for my fast learners and people who like to see things in a fast pace. You'll see me kind of fly through this braid. 
just so you can get the hang of it. Grab it, put it on hold, tuck, braid one, two, tuck, braid one, and two. Now you're gonna grab your next piece, put it underneath that ring finger, tuck, braid one, and two. Grab your piece again, tuck, one, and two. You don't necessarily have to hold that extra piece that's hanging the entire time. As you see, I let it go once I braid once. Two, grab the piece and tuck it, braid one and two. Okay guys, I'm just gonna let you guys continue to watch and I'm gonna stop talking because I feel like I've talked entirely too much. I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, I am back. I was not gone for long. Now here I'm just gonna take some scissors and do what I call dusting the braids to get rid of some of those flyaways, some of those little prickly hairs that's sticking up. Of course the water is gonna seal some of it, but I just wanna get um, the majority of it before I dip the ends and finish the braid, just because we like our braids to look neat, okay? And no, I'm not cutting her natural hair because I tucked her natural hair through the weave. And now we're done and I'm gonna lay her edges down with that Hicks Edge Control. Guys, don't be afraid to apply this stuff, okay? Put as much on it as you need. I mean, of course you don't wanna slick it back too much. Then I'm gonna add some of that mousse on top of that edge control. Then I'm gonna take my comb and I'm gonna give her a little swivel divil around those edges, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna throw it back a little bit. Not the 90s edges, but we're gonna throw it back to like the early 2000 edges. You know, the girls are into the edges nowadays. And now the shining jam finally comes in handy after the braids are all done. I'm just going to take it and apply it at the roots of the hair after the braids are done just to smooth it out a bit more and add some shine that the edge control may have taken it away. The edge control will hold the braids, but the shine just does what it's supposed to do. It makes it shine and gives it that luster that you guys like to see. And now I'm gonna go back in with my mousse. I'm just gonna apply it all over the braids and down to the base of the neck just to smooth everything down. And then I will tie it down with some um, wax strips and my do-rag. But before I do that, of course, I have to put my hairspray on it as I mentioned to you guys. And I'm just using some Pump It Up Spritz. No, it doesn't make the hair hard at all. It just keeps it so where it doesn't come out of place so soon. But you're just gonna take your strip and wrap it around the edges. And yeah, I know I should have had her hold it, but Hey, she's my girlfriend, so she can hold it. I'm just gonna tie it in the back. Then I'm gonna put the do-rag on top of that. I'm gonna let her sit here for about 20 minutes with this on while I wait for the water to boil and clean up a little bit. And of course, for the purposes of the video, we sped through that 20 minute point and I just got some boiling hot water in a tub if you see that steam. You can also get a water kennel from Walmart and it boils in like five to 10 minutes. I'm just gonna dip her ends up to the base of the neck because you don't want the braids to stick up at the neck. So make sure you dip them up as high as you can in that hot water using a towel, being careful not to burn yourself and your client. I'm just gonna repeat it on the other side. I kinda like to split the braids up instead of dipping them all at once so I can ensure that I get every piece of the braid. All right, guys, and now for the finale. Ah, yo, we made it. These are my feet in braids, six feet in braids with some dramatic baby hairs. Hashtag, of course, you've been style. She's matching bae with the red on the ends. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you. I go hard in the paint. Waka flocka. Waka flocka.
Mafia chopper. And 